Volvo, Volvo. And head over to the uh, Royal Phuket Marine. Why? You gotta look at boats. Why? Because boats are luxury. Today, our travels take us to the Royal Phuket Marina. Located in Koh Kiao, Phuket's premier hotspot for all things nautical. Whether it's sailing, chartering, or diving, if your idea of leisure involves the sea, you'll find it here at Koh Kiao. Housed in the Royal Phuket Marina is the Aquaminium. Truly exotic, there are only two of these amazing properties in the world, and they are both in the Royal Phuket Marina. And if you go here and you want a house that you can drive your own boat into, have I got the spot for you. License to chill, ladies and gentlemen. License to thrill, license to ill. All of those combined into you being a baller. If you come to Phuket and purchase this house, I tell you what lifestyles are the rich and famous. One of two houses in the Royal Phuket Marine where you have your own boat bath in the house. You can drive your boat into your house, you walk up the gangplank, you got your pool inside, you got your penthouse up on the top, video games and games galore, this is a place for James Bond, I told you. The Royal Phuket Marina is the first and only proud holder of the prestigious Five Gold Anchor Award, bestowed by the British Yacht Harbor Association. A distinguished world-class destination combining luxury waterfront living with an award-winning state-of-the-art marina. Situated on the east coast of the tropical island paradise of Phuket, total of 832 square meters of luxury private condominium living. Expertly designed and lovingly implemented with the highest quality materials. And to really top it off, literally, the third floor is an extraordinary outdoor kitchen and lounge space connected to a sunbathing and pool area with a 360 degree sea view. As we stand up here on the penthouse of this beautiful palace, I'm telling you it has its own bathroom. You're putting its uh, boats in, you have your own yacht, you have your own infinity pool on the penthouse that you can throw small children into or not throw small children into, it depends. You have either side, island watching, free island watching, for free, I tell you. What that crazy, Joe? What's that? It's a 52 acre island off the coast of your penthouse. Luxury, living the dream here in Phuket, Thailand. You should go there. Again, these are the days of the pandemic. Not everything is dead. There are some people that are surviving. They adjust, they make movements. I think Happy Jacks needs a, a, a good old salute because obviously you have Happy Jacks over there, but then, then Happy Jacks number two, the Happy Jacks Seaside, has just been open. Uh, the man with the legend himself, Peter, is over there right now. He gave me this shirt the other day, by the way. So, life is horrible. He is a glass is half empty type of human being. If you've ever met Happy Jack, that is a pun. It is a play on words, all right? Little John wasn't little, Happy Jack ain't happy. He's basically just a miserable, grumpy grump of Rawai, which there are many. We know you guys that watch the Phuket News are grumpy grumps. Yeah, you're a Phuket native though, kind of, right? 10 years. 10 years. Again, I'm very happy to say that we're at Happy Jack Seaside, right? This is new, giving some love. To Happy Jack's Seaside, you should go there. What makes this different from the other Happy Jacks? Daytime and nighttime, which are brother and sister. Yeah, each other. the yin and yang of our Happy Jacks, the, the balance. That's what we need it. Yeah. I mean, me and as well my partner Jim are uh, very satisfied with the, the opportunity that COVID gave us because normally it's very hard to find a place right on the beach. You know this show's about real estate too. So we did just see again a house that has a boat. Some people are doing okay, some people are not. And as you know, but yeah, you got the opportunity to have a place that's actually, when you say on the beach, you mean like? Straight on the beach. From up next week, we try to work together with the local fishing community over here, just mm -hmm. at the end of the road, doing fish barbecues, obviously for Thai and for Western people. Mm -hmm. And Rawai is really taking off though, huh? Rawai is the spot. Huge. Uh, I love the sushi. He's right, it's fresh. Come on now. Gyoza. Now he's, he says gyoza. Some people go dumpling. But actually, it's a pot sticker, right? As you can see, it sticks to the pot. It sticks to the pot. 
Whether it's Happy Jack's Nyharn or Happy Jack's Seaside in Rawai, the menu always surprises and never disappoints. I obviously came from the line of doing just steamed, drawn butter, lemon. That's the way that I would normally go. He gets the lemon on here. Um, so that, that right there is happening. Why wouldn't you? You stupid not to, really. Bang, bang. Boom, boom. And I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going straight lemon. Take that. that off too. Take that off too. Wow. Guy. That's the whole fall right there. I'm just gonna dip. Just a tip. Just a tip. Like Vince Vaughn. Taste like I'm eating Poseidon's children. At the end of the day, you can be a guy that once again is just. Mr. Grumpy Poopy Pants doesn't like anything that's happened. Basically be a, a crushed lobster, right? Or you can smile every once in a while and be good to your fellow man and not be a crushed lobster. We open 11 o'clock in the morning till 9 in the evening. Covered terrace, most beautiful spot on earth. What else do you need? Happy Jack on the beach. See you soon. Whoa, that island came out of nowhere. <laughs> Some of the best island watching you could ever see. That's an 86, that's an 86 acre. That's an 86 acre right there. Phuket, Thailand. You should go there.